Okay, guys, good evening. Uh, it, 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 it. Samadhi Nath Bhavanjas. Prasanna Dhe Dhamit. Mandhe Khe Dhamit Abhe Ratna. So Dhamit Abhe. Oh, is you new come? Gaya Ra Rupa Singha. Yes, sir, I'm a new come. Gaya Ra Rupa Singha. Okay. Uh, Gayara, are you after, I mean, are you with a degree uh, or MBA? Uh, yes, I have completed my uh, bachelor's. Okay. Bachelor's in uh, which area? Uh, international business management. Okay. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, you can do, uh, I mean, but you have a bit of a tough call huh? you have to commit a lot are you working anywhere uh yes i'm working from home during the weekdays working from home okay yeah bit of a tough call okay right <laughs> but you can do still you can right mm -hmm. uh Thank you. but you have to commit a bit uh, Dhammika Abheratna. Dhammika Abheratna. Hello, you yes, sir. You are also newcomer? Uh, no, no, no. I participate to the physical sessions also. Huh? Ah. Ah. Yes. You, you came last week also? Yes, yes, sir. I was in the front uh, with Harshi. There were two girls last week, three girls. Ah, okay, you were at the front, okay, the left side. Yes. Ah, okay, yes. okay, okay. Right, no, they're online, your name was not familiar. Right, right, okay. Uh, then, of course, okay. So, which means only, uh, only Gayara, no? Cool. Gayara, you have to get all your recordings, previous recordings. And you have to refer recordings from the beginning, not here and there, from the beginning, right? Or refer all the recordings from the beginning, from very first okay, day so sure. in a proper order, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Because we have taken uh, the assignment from the day one. So mm -hmm. each one of the areas we were taking every day. So refer recordings um, properly, then you will be able to make it. So, uh, not that you will be, you will, you can definitely uh, uh, can do it. So, uh, and whatever the workings you have to share with me so that I can give uh, my inputs for that. Okay, so sure. Okay. Tau Tau Kaurari, no one guys, ask them to join at least this week and finish it off because it's like this anyway, you all have to register, you, you have only one month. Only uh, 40 days you can do still, but only 40 days, bit of a challenging. You have to commit a bit. Still can do ki na mathe tamay mama inne. Me inne inna na kaurari dam mama join nela me start karan nee ki lakhe na. Otherwise, it'll be a challenge. Okay, so uh, we were talking about the CEC one and uh, CEC, we uh, last Thursday also we covered the CEC. Uh, next week I'll be keeping for CDC, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, 
Tuesday, Thursday. Tomorrow we'll be taking the GMD, the, uh, the case study one. So we are entering for CEC task three now, the final task. CEC second task also we completed last week. Mm, wait. So do you all have any questions related to CEC task two? CEC task two, we got a monohari questions, the another hand. Anyone? So we were talking about the CEC task two also. So which means so far we have completed 35 marks plus 30 marks, 65 marks we have completed. So, uh, uh, Gayara, don't get scared. Refer recordings once again, I'm uh, repeating. So though we have covered 65 marks, we are taking once again all the, the entire assignment whenever possible because uh, we are trying to complete the whole task by end of October and we are revisiting once again to the whole assignment. Right. Antima maas in November mulla indala piti agan ne touch up sticka daanna brush karanna polish karanna kate antika daanna. So antika daanna piti agan ne November maas e. Mukda November first week ke kapi first turn it in upload dev karanna wa. Ita passe apni tadi ne rasakar kati ka daanna. Right. You have to upload all the essence there and make sure that your assignment is okay to submit. Okay, any questions from task two we, since we completed last week? Any qu questions from task two since we completed last week? Anyone, anyone? Task two, okay, Monoharati and other questions. Guys, CDC, I'm with proper timing. So I can spend a couple of minutes without any issue with this since we have covered with a couple of additional sessions. So, Munoharati uh, and Munoharati and blank areas. Task 2, keep your mama assignments. Uh, task 2, part 2, Balivine. Uh, last Friday, last Thursday, task 2, part 2, you were So, uh, whatever the assignment came before that, I didn't check. Uh, so, re referring to the task two, part two, we completed last Thursday. Do your questions once again and send me, then I will check it. And some assignments I couldn't check uh, yesterday also, and I'll, I'll check it tonight if possible. But any questions, any questions? So guys, tomorrow physical class next week with the bad weather, some are not in a position to come. So I need the full house next week. Uh, physical session nekata GMD, full house kapi gamu. Aragena mono other TN issues of Kumatika Kataka and Balagan. We are completing the task two of the case study also by tomorrow. So you all can be okay with the whole task one and two, the case study next week. So C C other katakana subject take uh monohari questions see another guy so good on issues, any issues. Just have a look at your assignments with whatever the feedbacks I have given you all. Uh three entrepreneurial approaches to finalize karagata the evata on a karana uh what do you call this uh um uh, idea generation techniques to kadagata the Right. So any anything, anything. Just take about two to three minutes with your assignments and see. Any questions, anyone? Chaminda, how about you? Maulana, Haishi Nawod, Roshi Prasanna, Dhammika. Any questions?
so far okay sir no issue so far okay and even in task 1 if you all need to ask anything just have a look at right mama me me task wala synchronization ekak kiwa task 1 2 galapena vidiyat man kwa mulinma task 1 ek api industry ek identify karaganna company ek identify karaganna environment ek identify karaganna so we talk about okay we are looking at the technological perspectives and how the technology affected the industry in task 1 then we are coming inside the organization and analyze whether we are ready for innovation then we are uh, talking about what type of entrepreneurial approaches we can bring to come up with innovations and how those uh, entrepreneurial approaches can be enhanced using proper idea generation techniques we were talking about the uh, the synchronization between the two tasks also i i told you all guys now 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 no i mean you you have task you have task 1 task 2 you have task 3 inside that you have a b c a b like that you have so there is a synchronization between the sub topic and also at the same time there is a combination of the synchronization between these two so you need to manage your answers properly you have to manage your answers properly so the task 2 and once again connecting to your task 3 so the whole assignment you are connecting with the theme what you are selecting and um, you need to make sure your answers are uh, connected with the theme also right so let's move on with the task 3 then let's move on with the task 3 right we need to build a strategy report we need to build a strategy report on what transformational change now look at task 1 we studied the organization we studied the environment of the organization which means micro and the macro we studied and we looked at the uh, technological perspectives that were supporting the innovation and how technological environment changed the competition of the industry what you are talking about and how technological changes uh, affected the risks to the industry and the organization what you are discussing that we studied in task 1 so with that understanding we moved into task 2 and identified whether the selected organization is having innovation capability innovation capability to go for a change to go for a change right plus to that to go for a change and by looking at the innovation capabilities what are the possible or suitable entrepreneurial approaches you can implement in your organization entrepreneurial approaches you can bring into your organization by looking at the innovation audit and the change management findings and what are the entrepreneurial approaches you are suggesting for your organization and to make the entrepreneurial approaches successful have you gather ideas so so called idea generation techniques right now you have idea about the wider environment now you have an idea about the organization now with those understanding you are going to implement innovation and the change management now you are going to implement innovation now you are going to implement change management in task 3 since you have a better understanding on the environment since you have a better understanding on the organizational capabilities when it comes for innovation so you are trying to build the competitive advantage right now 
by having new innovation and the change management approach to the company what you have selected here in the environment what you have identified with the understanding of the capabilities of innovation and the implementation of environmental approach you are implementing your um, entrepreneurial approach right you are implementing your innovation part right now right so may they occur හරියට කරන්න නැතුව මේකේ අපි ප්‍රොඩක්ට් සිලෙක්ෂන් එක මේකේ අපි චේන්ජ් මැනේජ්මන්ට් එක ගියොත් සුම්ම වෙනවා සෝ යු නීඩ් ටු මේක් ෂුවර් දැට් යෝ යෝ හැවින් දැට් ප්‍රොපර්ලි ෆයිනලි අපි සමහර වෙලාවට කොහොම කරලා ඉවරුණාට පස්සේ ඊවන් දෝ ආයි හැව් ගිවන් යු ඔල් ග්‍රීන් ලයිට්ස් මේ තාස් තුනම බැලුවට පස්සේ මම සමහර වෙලාවට කියයි මේ 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 දැන් මේ මේ විදිහට චේන්ජ් කරන්න කියලා just to connect these dots mokada me assignment ekey dots tika hariyata connect wegena andone because if you are connecting these dots properly then you are having a proper flow i think mama samahara welawata ogulunta me ewa okay kiyala green light deepuwa metan ta awata passe final task ekak karata passe we might by looking at your assignment we might say okay just change this a bit just change this a bit just to make sure that you are having a proper flow කියන එක. ඉතින් ඒ වෙලාවට කියන්න එපා මොන මගුල් හද කලින් කිව්වනේ මේක හරි කියලා ඉවලා දැන් change කරන්න බෑනේ කියන එක. so that is because of the synchronization part. right මොකද මම දන්නේ නැහැ ඕගොල්ලෝ මොන වලි ආයිද කියලා මෙතන. ඉතින් මට ඒ වෙලාවේ දිවියක් ඥානේ නැහැනේ මට මෙතන ලියන දේවල් බලලා ඉවලා කියන්න. so මේකත් ආවට පස්සේ තමයි fine tune එක යන්නේ. පොඩි 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 changes ඒ වගේ වෙලාවට. මොකද මම මේක කියන්නේ දැම්මම because last time also it happens. so one of the students um, Uh, said okay sir sir calling you one make a hari kiya liwala it's correct it, it was correct but i want to do slight changes to make sure that you are having a proper connectivity between tasks so he hinda tamai make a karanne so make a thawata passe then i can connect the dots 100% for you right let's look at now the task 3 let's look at now the task 3 task 3 එකේ අපිට තියෙන report එකක් ගහන්න නේ yeah strategic report එකක් ගහන්න ඒ කියන්නේ අපි strategies ගැන කතා කරන්න තියෙන්නේ right strategies කියන්න තියෙන අපේ recommendations දෙන්න තියෙන මොකද මේ මේක් එක අපි මොනවද කරේ මේකේ audits කරා මේකේ critical evaluation කරා right environment එක ගැන study කරා search කරා information ගැන it is okay very a strategy gana api den katha kare na we were not talking much about the strategy we were just recommending certain things but here this is a strategy report this is a strategy report strategy report for what strategy report for transformational change strategy report for transformational change right api broader view ek aragenemu strategy report for transformational change me ekana me organization eka ka change ekata yanna api strategies gahana eka karanne that i will just explain the whole report so the task 3 the main heading you can design by looking at these two words strategy report on transformational change strategy report on transformational change for xyz company or whatever whatever you can you have to change the way you prefer so this is the main heading under that you are talking about the task 1 here look at carefully task 1 pretty straight forward huh? task 1 ekak telimma kiyenawa mokada karanna thiyena kiyala so no hangi bangi there so it's pretty straight forward they said what create to annotated value proposition canvases they ask you to create two vpcs right detailed vpcs vpc ek dekak karanne ekala vpc e api karala thiyenawa meke di gmd e kedi but i'll be discussing what is vpc i think vpc we were discussing even at the my uh, not inside this subject here yeah. we'll be discussing so you have to create two vpcs that evaluate two innovations for adding values and achieving team objective right two vpcs 
two value proposition canvases two value proposition canvases right which means two new innovations etara innovations deka kogolo make athulta gain one alut products deka kalut process deka kalut systems deka kalut uh, mechanism deka for your organization you need to talk about to enhance the values towards the customer right vpc ekak kiyala kiyanne in simple terms your product or the service okay vpc ek means your product or service finally it, it boils down to your product or service so i'll explain what is vpc what you need to understand here you have to create two vpcs two vpcs means two new products so now you identified the environmental changes and the technological changes you identified the disruptive innovations you identified the radical architectural incremental innovation patterns you identified whatever the risk components whatever the competitive changes that were taking place in the industry and you identified your company's capabilities on innovation development your company's capabilities on, um, on the, coming up with new products new innovations and your in, on entrepreneurial approaches with that with your capabilities with your entrepreneurial approaches with the technological advancements in the industry you have to come up with two new products etor dan metana tiyena synchronization ekak thamai api alut products dekak geenawa alut products deka ape i mean innovation capability ken eha yanawa nan you don't match your new products api alut products deka geena lakuwata vistara dala geena haba innovation capability audit ekak diya balana kota me products deka geena ba company ekak athulta hey you are not capable right example okay api thama innovation capability when you are conducting the innovation capability audit you identify certain areas are weak your culture is weak your systems are weak your structure is weak you know certain areas are weak but you are proposing two brilliant innovations now the question mark if these areas are weak how can you come up with these two look at it carefully right me 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 ka api blindly gahanna behai kiyala kiyanne eka so you need to make sure that your innovations are matching from top to bottom of your assignment and your innovation should be able to achieve your theme objective your theme objective may be strategic change your theme objective may be sustainability of the environmental perspectives your strategic change may be the relationship marketing yours sorry your your theme may be the relationship marketing your theme may be the value chain right so the new comer gayara you might wonder what is the theme so i mean refer the first two days classroom recording then you will get an idea if you are still not sure i mean uh, talk to samadhi uh, then i'll, I'll uh, give you a time so okay sir. thank you so you need to look at whether your new vpcs the value proposition canvases will meet your objectives theme objectives metana clearly kiyala thiyena ne metana clearly kiyena egalon kiyena right create two value proposition canvases right detail value proposition canvases that evaluate two innovations right innovations dekak kata for adding values for achieving the theme objectives question ekak pahadilida mama vpc model ekak karanawa but question ekak pahadilida innovations dekak gena thiyenne question ekak pahadilida Yeah, now we'll be okay with the question about others. Uh, 
about others. Are she okay the question? That okay. Dammika, how about you? Chaminda okay. Maulana, are you okay? Hashi, how about you? You okay with the question, Maulana? Question nika teeru unga anna mulim. Teeru is kata karanna pulu anna pita. Yeah, that's clear. Okay. Right. Now let's see what is VPC. VPC means value proposition canvas. Right. Value proposition canvas. VPC. What is it all about? This talks about how you add values to your product or service by looking at the market expectations. By looking at the market expectations. So in this VPC, you have two sides. You have two sides in this VPC, right? You have two sides in this VPC. One side we identified as, okay, let me do this. You need to have, you are looking at the same thing from two different sides. You are looking at the customer, customer expectations from certain ways, and you are looking at the value delivery or the company approach on the same thing. So if you see company is delivering what the customer is expecting, you see a best fit. So every entrepreneur's expectation is to meet this best fit. Why? The reason you can easily sell. You don't have to face any hassle. But this is pretty challenging. You can easily sell the product as long as you identify the customer expectation and design the product in a particular segment, market segment. Now, when you have the best fit, your VPC is good. When you don't have the best fit, your VPC is weaker. Your VPC is weaker. So we need to look at what do they expect? What are the areas we, are, we should study from the customer's side? So we are fulfilling something called customer need with our product. We are fulfilling something called customer need with our products or services. Right? Our products or services or fulfill customer need. Technically, when you are defined the customer need, how you define the customer need technically? Like this. It is a gap. Gap of what? Right? Gap of what? Gap of your current states and your desired states. Make a meme of what they read next. I know pretty, uh, pretty sure that you will not, most of most will not understand what it is. So need is a gap. This gap we identified as a need. Okay. So gap of what? The gap of the current states and the desired states. Let's say very basic example of hunger. Your current state is your empty in your stomach. Your desired state to have some fill ups. To have some fill ups. Food 
comes as the product to fulfill this gap. Right, we need food. Food comes as a product to fulfill this gap. So we being manufacturers, manufacturing food as expected by the customers to fill this gap. Some might expect pizza, some might expect parota, some might expect tose, some might expect plate of rice, some might look at for a bun, some might look for bread, some might look for string hoppers, some might look for something, something. Some might want to have it in a five-star rating hotel, some might want to have it in a very average wayside Pettika day, some might want to have it in Rahumania, some might want to go to Shanti Vihar and have it, some might want to go to Amrit and have it, some might want to go to a, a Indian restaurant and have it. Different likings. Different people expect different values. But finally, what do they fulfill this gap? Gedaraginella pizza ka kavad, butapuroga neka karane. Gihilla pizza hat teke in the gena, pizza hat teka kanane, pizza ka kavad, butapuroga neka karane. So you identify the main need, you identify the key need, and you add values to fulfill the need. You the people, those who want to fulfill this need in a style, might go to star rating hotel and have it. People do not bother about going into the star rating, might go to Wayside Pettika Day and have a Paul Roti and fulfill the need. For people might, depending on their income level, they might go to Wayside Toseka Day and have it. So it differs depending on their likings, preferences, convictions, right? So they will take their decision to fulfill the same need. So you being manufacturers, manufacturing multiple products to fulfill the same needs with multiple values. Multiple values. So these products are built to fulfill these values as a result of value proposition expected and delivered by the customer and the company. A simple theory come on me, I may understand in a connectum value proposition. Right? Let's say as an example, okay. Need of a transportation. This is hunger. This is the transportation. Need of a transportation. Current states, which means ability to travel is not there. Ability to travel is not there. Your expectation is what? Ability of traveling. Okay. So you, if you find a public transport, you fulfill this gap. If you uh, rent Uber, pick me, you fulfill this gap. If you buy your own vehicle, you fulfill this gap. If you want to go in a luxury, I mean, a pattern style, you might have your either own vehicle or you might uh, rent a luxury car and go. You fulfill this gap. Transportation. If you want to go, in air, you might use a private chopper and go. Sea transportation. You name whatever. Train, rail, sea, air, right? Underground, hurry. You talk about the transportation. So, which means travel from one location to another location. That is the need fulfilled by all this. So, BMW fulfilled that with a style of sporty condition like Ferraris and all these things because. The BMW is talking about the ultimate driving machine, whereas the Mercedes-Benz is talking about the professional level status in your travel, in your destination journey. And at the same time, the Volvo is talking about the safety, 
in your journey. So like that, different people add different values to their product to fulfill the need gap as expected by the customer. So the customer who is expecting a, a, a stylish driving, sporty driving, or I mean kind of a I mean, um, energetic uh, feeling, they might go to BMW or the person who is looking after the family safety and the safety in driving as Volvo is talking about the safety of the passenger and the person who is in the car, they might select Volvo and the professional status driven the Mercedes Benz. So like that, people will choose their, I mean, the product based on the values what they are expecting along with the tangibility and the intangibility perspectives so you have to develop so taking the 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 the, the qualification as an example let's say cim you don't have a marketing qualification let's say you have a marketing qualification but you don't have the chartered qualification or the postgraduate qualification so because of that you currently do not have the marketing qualification your desire is to get the qualification so cim is one of the qualification to fulfill one of the qualifications to fulfill that gap so you have masters you have mbas you have sorry the masters you have um, the other postgraduate qualifications so so many things you can use to fulfill this gap Right. So depending on your existing capabilities, existing experience, your financial capabilities, your liking, your preferences, your decision making patterns, your way of interacting with others and all these things, you're selecting the qualification and start following the program. But the need is what? getting a marketing related recognized qualification. Currently, you don't have the recognized marketing qualification in the sense the chartered related qualification. So your intention is to get that. But if you have the chartered related qualification, you will not do this because you already have fulfilled the gap. So you might have MBA, you are not, you are, you did your MBA 10 years back, you need to get yourself refreshed and you might do the second MBA. You do that because you need to get yourself updated not just because of your that is not the uh, requirement is not the mba the requirement is for the second mba is to get yourself updated because you have you already have an mba where you captured 10 years back so when you do the second mba the expectation is to get a better recognition or to get a better or to get yourself updated with the new new industry related um, examples, the uh, new models, new concepts. So your expectation is that. So like that, you need to identify the need first. You need to identify the need first. Depending on the company, you need to identify this. If you have selected, let's say, as an example, the service oriented organization like a finance company, the bank, right? So the person, doesn't have a saving account will need a saving account right we need to have i mean let's say the person uh, who need to i mean uh, increase the money doesn't have a way to increase the money so expectation is to increase the money currently doesn't have a way to increase the money so savings account or the fixed deposit will increase your capital what you have with an interest what you are getting so saving the requirement of a savings account comes here the need of a savings account need of a fixed deposit right so you need to identify depending on that identify first the need properly what you are going to fulfill then remember until you fulfill the need of your customer, it is a burning issue. Bada piranakang, bada pichano age, right? So it is a burning issue. It is a problem. Need is a problem, guys. Need means a problem. So you as an organization, you as a marketer, is giving a solution for this problem. You're giving a solution for this problem. Some are basically making the problem worse, okay? But your intention should be to give a solution for this problem. So that is because you don't know how to 
deliver the value proposition properly. It's not easy, right? So it's not easy um, as as I just said, right? You have to do an extensive study to identify uh, the need properly and the way they want to be treated properly and liking their preferences, their convictions and all these things we need to identify properly. Then only we can solve this problem effectively. Otherwise we can't. So this is where the value proposition connecting the answer. So understand the market available needs along with the along with the industry expectations, the technological changes and your capabilities and all these things you need to look at when you're talking about your new product. So look at what need you can fulfill depending on the company what you have selected. Can I have example from the companies what you all have selected? company Target company Kakian, Dagat, Ogolong assignment to Kadabu. Can someone tell me one of the companies? I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> 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 right, okay. I know. Right. Now, what is the need? What is the need? Look at it. Okay. Look at it. What is the need? Give me one minute. Right, sorry. Uh, look at the need. Okay. Now, what is the current situation and desired situation fulfilled by Heineken? Guys, okay. Socialization, association with friends, right? And on top of this, very few might need to have a, a, a light, I'm talking about the Sri Lankan context, right? A, a, a little kick in their life and might have it alone also. But in Sri Lankan context, the Heineken beer or whatever a beer products are fulfilling the, I mean, uh, the socialization of, or the socialization situation. They're that particular moment they are fulfilling. Currently, uh, you're alone. Your expectation is to be with your friends, right? And... I mean, friends happily. And that moment is fulfilled by something called Heineken. Right? Heineken ne kapi bonawada health ekata. Heineken ne kapi bonawada ne kang udere te ekak bonawa ke? No. So, this product is fulfilling by social attraction, social association, and socialization, and um, uh, I mean, the fun side of fun or no entertainment part of a gathering. So that is the area fulfilled by this. And to do this, yes, the taste matters, and the canister, the container, the bottle matters, the design matters, the name and everything matters. But those designs, labels, and the taste, or the ingredients, or the size of the bottle, and all these things comes along with the product design. Initial requirement of having the beer is this type of a requirement. This type of a requirement, right? So. I mean, the, any other uh, requirements, any other needs are fulfilled by a, a beer in that nature? Uh, it's basically uh, the relax, unwind, um, the maybe the higher spirit uh, beers gives you the escape, 
those are the psychological needs basically exactly okay the relaxation being i mean right okay um some kind of a uh, 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 when you look at the product related things of course a different that is the way you're designing the product to attract uh, the target market but when you look at uh, the relaxation more unwind more friendly i mean to fulfill the friendly atmosphere to more towards having a effective socialization part so that type of area is fulfilled by this so designing the beer with different features is the value proposition you are connecting the first thing you need to identify what you are fulfilling it is a may may become a fulfill karanawa oya age anith competitors lat right lion no you name whatever the other beer brands are fulfilling the core of the need but you you fulfill the same need in a different manner that is where you look at the differentiation part you add values to your product to fulfill the need in a different manner then by doing that you show a uniqueness in you to attract your customers so you try to differentiate yourself among rest of the competitors by adding values while fulfilling the fundamentals of the requirement of a beer right fundamental requirement of a beer අපි බලන්නනේ මූලිකම requirement එක product එකක් design කරනකොට guys okay i'm just taking uh, uh, a different theory also in it when you are developing a product there is something called core values of product a core value එක තමයි මේ need එකත් එක්ක directly connected ai manusse beer එකක් බොන්නේ කියන reason එක right co purpose vehicle ekaka like transportation purpose ekaka aim karoth ekaka vehicle ekak wenne ne right food ekaka kanna puluwan kiyana meka naththam eka food ekak wenne ne right food ekak wenna nan it should be i mean you should be able to have it ne consume it properly so co value you need to identify co purpose of the product you need to identify that is directly connected with the need of the product so what do you do you as a marketer right you you as a marketer once you identify the co values you add co purpose of the product you convert the co purpose of the product into a marketable position into a marketable position as a total product you give features you give name you give packaging you give uh, whatever the whatever the designs and things which is tangible which is tangible features tangible values to the product which means if you are talking about the beer you talk about the design of the can design of the bottle and the flavor uh, the ingredients uh, the name then uh, the whatever the other features so you bring tangible values and convert this core requirement into a marketable product guys remember people do not attract only for tangible values people do not attract i mean everybody is not attracted only for tangible values okay so let's say as an example now you were talking about heineken beer here and forget about the heineken logo branding and everything and the colors and everything and you do another beer brand using the same content means heineken factory ekem e process ekem eliyata ne ekak purowana heineken kiyala anith ekak purowana uh 
some other name. This is a high neck and one, and this is the my neck and one. I'm just telling, okay? And look at the tangible perspectives exactly same. Me bottle, come a me with the atom a me shape, pick him a me ingredient, come a me atuliti and a come a taste, take a take a my. There is a very famous research, okay? I will uh, tell you all later. So taste, take a take a my. But this is high neck and this is something called my neck. Just taking a name, okay? Now, do you feel the Heineken um, uh, feeling when you are drinking this Heineken? No. Why? But tangible perspectives are exactly same. Flavor exactly same. Canister tin, I mean the bottle and the shape, bottle shape exactly same. Only the name different. So where is the different in that case? So you have converted that to a marketable position. Where is the different in that case? You are different in that case, whatever the intangible values, also called augmented values, you add augmented values you add to the product. Your brand values, your personality, your identity, Heineken as an identity, Heineken as a, as a personality, um, Heineken image, right? Heineken reputation, all these things are intangible. All these things are intangible. So in a situation like this, so people might not bothered only about the tangible part of it. Wait, I will like yeah, in as a make a come a beer company king in me, a mama tamai, a mama, a kama tamai, both lay with ripe, me, nama with ripe in us. But still, you will say, no, bring me a neck. Why? Augmented values, intangible values connected with the brand psychological values connected with the brand, emotional component connected with the brand, also add as the values to the whole brand, also adding to your entire value proposition. But if you don't understand the core purpose of using the beer, core purpose of buying the beer, co-purpose of consuming a beer, you can't think of adding these physical values and the, I mean, emotional values or the psychological values or the intangible values. So you, first thing you need to identify. So you, when you're designing your value proposition, you need to look at what is the co-purpose Vehicle like aknan, transportation like the my co purpose second, right? Cam aknan, badagin and even like the my co purpose second, right? Qualification like aknan, career upgrade and like the my co purpose second. Qualification like a current of a career upgrade and career upgrade karagan the bed, that name the current thermone, career upgrade karagan the bed. On the knowledge of the product, as an example, you are running your own business. You are not, you don't bother about your qualification because you are the own boss, right? So you don't bother and uh, you might look at what the qualification is designed for. I mean, for that, of course, you do, you might not need to spend such a huge amount. If you if you need only the knowledge, you might refer enough and more online materials and more. So you need to identify the purpose behind the product depending on the company. And you need to look at what are the fundamental tangible values connected with the product. Tangible values connected with the product. That also needed. That also needed. Ape beer ka dena hai kela. Ata ta Allah ne bari bottle leke kine thadi size me me mega bottle leke kine beer ka dilahari anna me. Ata ta Allah la ek style leke kine ek bonna pulvang vidhi te beer ka dena hone. Ek container ka tien hone ek comfortable vidhi ata. 
ඒ කන්ටේනර් එක යුනික් විදියට තියෙන්න ඕනේ ඒ කන්ටේනර් එකේ තියෙන ඒ ලිඩ් එක අරගන්න පුළුවන්කම තියෙන්න ඕනේ ලිඩ් එක අරන කොට අත කැපෙනවා නේ so which means it is not done properly as a product so you need to look at those are the tangible values so the intangible values also people need. now let's say as an example right bmw you make the car same factory again same factory again eliot enawa ekamai dassame akkat wenas ne meka bmw right dassame akkat wenas ne tawa ekak eliot enawa mpw ke right will you pay the same price for mpw where you pay for bmw no why because it is not bmw no matter how tangibly 100% okay but it's still not bmw so the i i don't know whether i have shared this example uh, lamborghini marcielago model was uh, duplicated by iranian car designer called moradi i think somewhere in 2018 19 but i can't remember the exact year so the moradi was duplicating the lamborghini marcielago product the car design wise the feature wise everything was same but it's not lamborghini marcielago something else so people won't pay um the same price for iranian model as masilago so you need to identify so the value proposition of your product what you are planning to design connected with the tangible perspectives and the intangible perspectives both and also you got to identify the purpose of using the product hari bmw ek okkoma lakshari katha karana make a transportation purpose ekak ayin karoth ोजिकल mechanical perspectives also add values so you need to identify what are the things the customers are expecting from your product so this is how you are designing these are the layers of product when you are designing and when i come into the value proposition canvas okay then at keep the pahadari any question there now i'm connecting the basic need part into the value proposition canvas any question so far about others ashi ट now let's say you are in a hunger and you have you now you have ara kene ugurata ena kamma kala now i'm taking you to health right pere ena kamata kane ek ne me i mean to say you can't eat right no matter what because the need is fulfilled now so after that you don't have that need samata buffet ekak dakka me the කමන්න නැ චූටි කැල්ලක් හරි කනවා ඒ I'm not talking about that that is the greedy right but once the need is fulfilled it is no more there until again it appears until again it appears so you need to identify so need is a problem until you fulfill it until you fulfill it the need is a problem 
So in this problem, you need to identify whatever the pain points. Whatever the pain points. In me problem, me kathilati na pain points tika identify karagan. Kame ke tia na taste tika, nutritional value vika, content tika, dil okkuma tika. Kame ka. Vehicle le kaknang fuel efficiency eka, engine ne ke me, me, uh, capability eka, yokkuma pain points tika mono the manu sek me vehicle me 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 product taking product tika hub me need the kat tika bandicha pain points mono the. You need to identify them. Depending on the company, depending on the business, what you have selected. So out of the needs, you need to identify what do they try to gain from the product they are looking for? What do they try to gain? Maybe status, maybe comfort, maybe uh, uh, different personality, maybe image, right? So you need to look at what do they really try to gain out of this product? What are the pain points connected with the need? What do they try to gain out of the product? You need to study your customer and identify. And customer might not have an idea about how to fulfill. They might have idea also about how to fulfill. So you have to unearth what type of products and the service and how they like that being delivered, you need to identify. So you can't just do it. You have to do research for this. Then me, me assignment to do on the research and very in the pool, right? But you have to, if you're doing it real, so you have to do a consumer survey and identify what are the pain points you have. What are the pain points you have? Now, let's say as an example, I'm coming into the Heineken one. So the pain points, right, connected with the can't find, I'm just taking a hypothetical one, can't find in every restaurant, good beer can't find in every restaurant. It is a pain point connected to the product. Let's say as an example, there's something wrong with the size of the canister. It is very difficult to handle it, right? And People are having a pain point of having a proper canister, can, in a way where they can handle comfortably, less weight, and the can, I mean, the, the container is not a recyclable pain point, you are damaging the environment. These are the things people are looking at. So you need to identify whatever the pain points connected around this need. Whatever the gains they try to achieve by fulfilling this need. May need to fulfill kal achieve karan try karna gains monod. May need to take a pain points monod. Sa may need to take a fulfill karan try karan ne kohomad. You identify the customer side properly by doing a research. Now what? So your product should be able to give a, make a pain, work as a pain, relief. Your product should be able to give a relief for these pain points. 
මේ pain points එකින් එකට අපිට relief දෙන්න පුළුවන් නම් challenging uh, you will not be able to give a relief for each one of the pain points as much as possible you are trying to fulfill right so you i mean if different people fulfill differently for different pain points and then you fit with the segment you are planning so you are designing the product by adding values to give relief for these pain points you are designing the product by adding values to create these gains expected gains you're creating using this product pain sticker adu karanawa expected gains create karanawa major areas the product and you're designing the product the way they are expecting here customer more prefer to have this way you are making it in the this way so you need to identify by doing a proper study of your target market and the target audience so call the customers and the consumers of their pain points connected to the needs and gains that they are expected to achieve by fulfilling the needs and how they prefer fulfilling the need the way you should deliver this product or service so when you are designing and fulfilling the need this way which means you are talking about designing a value proposition canvas fit with the market expectation make a fit map then you will struggle you will struggle so when you look at when you look at when you do the survey you might identify multiple need patterns but those needs i mean the pain points those pain points are connected with multiple segments maybe so you your product will not be able to cater the multiple segment so out of these pain points you identify the unique pain points connected to a particular segment and you fulfill that as pain relievers from your product and you cater that particular segment then api hitama minusu 10k research karana kota ඒ මිනිස්සු 10 ඇතුලේ ඉන්න පුළුවන් ඉන්න අපර් ඉන්කම් ලෙවල් ලෝවර් ඉන්කම් ලෙවල් මිඩල් ඉන්කම් ලෙවල් ඉන්න පුළුවන් ඒ මිනිස්සු 10 ඇතුලේ මේල් ෆීමේල් ඉන්න පුළුවන් රයිට් ඒ මිනිස්සු 10 ඇතුලේ ඉන්න පුළුවන් ලෙට් සේ අර්බන් ඒරියාස් ඉන්න පුළුවන් රූරල් ඒරියාස් ඉන්න පුළුවන් එහෙම එක එක පැතිවල ඉන්න පුළුවන් සෝ සෝෂලි ඩිෆරන්ට්ලි කනෙක්ටඩ් වෙන්න පුළුවන් සෝ මේතනදී අපි ඇඩෙන්ටිෆයි කරගත්ත සෙග්මන්ට් එකට අපි ඩිසයින් කරන වැලියුස් ඩිසයින් කරලා ඇම් කමින් ඉන්ටු යු චමින් සෝ දෙන් වී ආ ඩිසයිනින් ද කම්ප්ලීට් වැලියු ප්‍රොපොසිෂන් කැන්වස් ටු සූට් දෙම් යස් ගෝ හෙඩ් යා නව් සර් නව් වෙන් යු ඩූ අ කන්සියුමර් සර්වේ වට් වී ෆයින්ඩ් ඉස් ලයික් වේරියස් මල්ටිපල් නීඩ්ස් ආ බීන් බ්‍රොට් අප් යස් ඩිෆරන්ට් කන්සියුමර්ස් ද නීඩ්ස් ආ ඩිෆරන්ට් Yes. yes well uh, like functional emotional all these needs are coming out but exactly. the, uh, when you uh, develop the canvas the value proposition canvas for the company should we look at the impact of the need uh, uh, like uh, uh, what the what the priority because otherwise if you try to fit everything to the product you will never be able to do that no you can't that's what i said exactly exactly you are to the point you are to the point now when you when you when you uh, when you interview 1000 people right 1000 customers right now let's say you are interviewing 1000 consumers in this population right some are lower level income some are middle level income some are upper level some are upper upper level 
so they are expectation the way of delivering the product they are, they are i mean so the, the basic need might be same to have a beer for socialization that is the fundamental but that beer this person need to take it home and have it with the uh, the the wife this person the person who is in the middle income level might need to have some kind of a not a luxury beer but you know, with a lower uh, liter capacity affordability you know upper income level person might need to have with a branded uh, way upper upper income level might look at the premier brand and all these things but the core is same so you can't fulfill each one of the segments so you need to identify once you do the research you identify in this list in this list the pain points that are connected with upper upper income level people i mean they also have pain points the the pain points that are connected with the upper middle income if you are catering upper upper if your segment is this if you are catering upper upper income level if you are catering lower income level let's say as an example you are designing a product okay guys bear with me okay though i'm taking a liquor product right so let's say as an example uh, you are designing a product or uh, i'm not criticizing anyone or api dakinawa samar lata bar ekak inte yanawa gihilli wala beer ekak gudu 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 gala hala gannawa yanawa so that segment the pain points are different then the pain points of of our pain come level up a middle income level because they don't i mean the people those who are just consuming in front of the bar right they are not they don't have, they are not talking about the socialization they just need the taste and the the small kick maybe and the affordability so their requirement is their pain points are different their gains are different right so you need to identify the pain points along with the segment you are targeting not all the pain points mehema ganna giyot summa hema apita product ekak adanna beri wenu mehema okkoma ganna giyot so that is where you need to look at so you need to do a research based on the segment what you are looking at you are spot on chamin clear clear the Yes, sir. Clear. Thanks. Any more questions? Any more questions? How about others? The method of which I mean the current cut or a mukaddu or a segment take will identify it. Can. If there is a segment take, that will product take a relationship with the pain points. Bala. A segment take that will a golong expect karna gains mono or the product take a relationship. Co values well to some other co purpose to some other in an eco are deliver current or the killer but deliver current at the time get the cock theory pain points of command plus can not kill her or come in the sense in that particular segment you have to address if not you fail you get what I'm saying a segment to get at the lady in a requirement to go at the end of pain points up he and plus current at the end it will be a concern it then it is fairly a copy and a product taking hammer segment to came uh what do you call the pain points you can't fulfill any question anyone is having any question connected to the company what you all have selected yes gayan go ahead gayan sorry uh, so uh, yeah uh, when we are sharing the uh, questionnaire with the uh, customer so are we supposed to like uh, Uh, uh share it uh, with only the uh, customers that are relevant to the segment that we choose okay uh gar if you are doing a real research on this there is no requirement yeah. to conduct a real research on this but you all can mm -hmm. do secondary survey which means the desk research and do it but the correct way i said you need to have a primary survey if you are doing this in real right mm -hmm. but in the in the okay. in this assignment they are not expecting a real survey but if you are doing it in real you need to identify a particular segment that you are planning to cater then you need to design your questionnaire and you have to share among them 
let's say you need to get an idea in real to do this assignment. Don't go into 100, 200 um, respondents. Prepare a small, about 10 question questionnaire, right? And share among about five to 10 people and get their ideas. That will be a kind of a, 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 a value addition for your real effort in this assignment. But it is not a must. But examiner might look at your questionnaire. Examiner might look at your uh, uh, research finding, your analysis, which is in your annex. And he might identify, he or she might identify that you have done a real survey to come up with your VPC, value proportion canvas, which means your value proportion canvas is having somewhat weightage, somewhat genuine study. So that will add value. But here in this assignment, they are not expecting to do so, but doing that is not harming you also. Right? But you can study and do. You can do a desk research. You can do a secondary survey. You can look at previous um, uh, research. You can look at the consumer behavioral factors through some of the other um, previous studies and any, any newspaper articles, any social listening you can do and gather some idea and design this also. They are worried about whether you know to deliver a VPC, whether you know to design a VPC based on the customer's expectation. Clear. Doing a survey is also will add value for your answer and you also can do it in real sense. That is also there. Questions. Yes, okay. Then it will be good. It will be good if possible. It's good. Others also same. It, it's if possible. It is good. Clear the gara. Yes, sir. Clear. Yeah. How about others? Yeah, she okay. That make okay. Hashi. Naot, Prasanna. Prasanna, by the way, what is the company you have selected now? Have you selected the company? Okay. Prasanna, what is the company you have selected? I know this, this may be your second or third day. So refer, refer recordings. If you are struggling to select the company and the theme, come back to me fast. And I don't wait um, anymore. Right? If you are struggling to bridge the company and the theme and selecting the company, so let me know. Selecting any company is okay as long as you are connecting with the theme. So come back to me immediately. So, so the question is asking what? Question is asking create two annotated value proposition canvases to uh, that evaluate the two innovations adding values to achieving the theme objective etta kota menna me kapi design karanno one to match me wage dekak api hadanno one hadanna kalin metana podi briefing ekak denno one value proposition canvas one what is the product and what is the market you are talking about and how it is connected to the theme you are discussing. And you then deliver the VPC. Then you deliver the VPC. I mean, VPC is gains, pains, you just try to bring along with the theme you are selecting. Peli tunakavage briefing the ka gain VPC a kaliana kaling and in the kaling 
ए ब्रीफिंग ने का के नाला प्रोडक्ट का मौकादम मोना मार्केट टेक द किए तकराने में प्रोडक्ट गए कियला कियला इवर वेला मोना टीम में का द टीम में का को हम द कनेक्ट वेन ने प्रोडक्ट का टेक कियला कियला इवर वेला में वीपीसी का आंदीन ने ए मने तो निकाम वीपीसी का देखा आंदीन ने पा ए में अंदोत ओगलोंट लाखों आडू Whole task you have thousand seven hundred fifty words, and out of this thousand seven hundred fifty words, uh, da, 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 da. okay, this is seven fifty, this is five hundred, this is five hundred. So we have five hundred words only, which means each VPC you have two hundred fifty words. Eka VPC ka explain karan, eka VPC ka kata, eka VPC ka andin, and they explain karan. Allocate 250 words. 10 marks. What is the company you have selected? Uh, commercial bank commercial bank so you can look at any uh, i mean to uh, new products maybe the digital type of uh, version the cardless uh, let's say withdrawal mechanism maybe the bio like maybe the biometrics withdrawal mechanism right eva uh, talut products huh Let's say card deco cyan ne. Come begin tamayokuma. The Emanathans, whatever the things that are connected with the smart watches, you know. Eva talut products me, a look product, a kila kiwama, hitan nepa me savings at bank account, savings account, a kakma men, non a fixed account, a kak, so the fixed deposit, a kakwe, non a commercial paper, a kakwe, non. Anyway. Apitamu alut, you are talking about new way of facilitating for LCs. With complying whatever the rules and regulations uh, set by the uh, central bank, you're you're adding and you're giving new features for your LC facility, right? You know, eva talut products so So don't just stick to uh, this. Maybe let's say alut product na pulwang some kind of a minicom. Uh, approaches up with the cdm machine cash deposit machines but not in the conventional pattern but some other way i don't know you all have to look at so the product ka kela ki wa ma hitan ne pa me savings account ka bank ka non savings account ka ke me way of delivering the product also a product service ka ka special you are talking about right Online banking mechanism, right? Now, let's say as an example, you identify uh, so much of scammers are there, right? Scammers are there. Now, I, I heard uh, 50 odd Chinese people have got caught for scamming. And you're designing a new product to avoid scammers, protect from scammers. Two factor authentication, three factor authentication, biometrics authentication, you bring them. And those also new products. Right? Right. Right. Conventional type picking hit unknown. As an example, you are having a commercial type loan scheme, some kind. You can talk about them market B2B market requirements. pain points So like that. So you need to identify. <laughs> Now, what is the company? But I can't remember. Selinko. 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 Yeah, you can you can talk about new 
nucleum mechanism. I can't remember the names. Accident to go to Sally after the name of the claim mechanism. Caller drive mechanism. I don't know. Maybe investment policy. Whatever, let's say some kind of a natural environment related uh, policy scheme. Make up in the full one. Eka B to B, B to C. Bala na market take a bala liver villa. Design karana. Design karana kota. I mean, they are not, they don't bother about uh, whether it is available in the market that type of. If it is not available in the selling co, you can look at, but your competitor is having, but you don't have so you can look at the customer uh, pain points and the gain expectations and match with your selling co products you know so make a new product vpc it doesn't need to be a new to the world product maybe your innovation right so your competitor might have some kind of a similar product, but you're delivering with different value additions. That also new product for you, two new value profession canvases for you. Perfectly okay, right? So you can look at it that way. Okay, sir. thank you. Sir. No worries. How about others? How about others? Okay, uh, Gayara, do you have any idea of a company what you are planning to select? Team make a canopy, Nikamati hit the moon. So, how about uh, Unilever? Perfectly okay. Perfectly Would okay. Would it be like more complex? Uh... Uh, not really, not really. Uh, only in the second part, uh, no, still you can. Entrepreneurial approaches also you can. You have enough and more. You can talk about the lean thinking, Kaizen. Uh, you do innovation audit, whether the capabilities are there. Most of the time you can talk about the innovation capabilities. Are there, they have research and development team. Yeah, no, no, it's not complex. You can do. You can do. You can talk about the, uh, the new VPC also there. You can look at okay whatever the areas they are not catering but maybe your competitors are catering like dali butler nestle might cater you know rickets might cater where they are not catering into so you can look at if uh, anything like that so something like puri product you can think of a different way because you can look at the unilever's vision statement so they talk about saying uh sustainable common place for every individual so that is their vision so based on that vision only they came up with the purit also so like that uh, you can look at even a product in that nature to bring the sustainability of a human life when you can bring new product unilever is okay you can talk about um, technology wise you can yeah i mean Production technologies, you can, yeah, Unilever, you can take it, yeah, perfectly okay. You can bring two L, U, two VPCs, what Unilever can bring, new, two new products, what you can, Unilever can bring, right? Uh, at, sir, should I focus on uh, one brand uh, uh, under Unilever or just uh, the company? Not really, the not really, you have to take the company. Okay. You have to take the company. But when you are designing two VPCs, you can say VPC with this brand name. Like that, you can talk about. Okay. Better take the whole company and do. Because you have to give an introduction to the company and you have to talk about the macros and micros affected the company because when you take, let's say, Sunlight, it's not a company. It's a sub-brand which is coming under the Unilever brand. Um, whatever, whatever you name it. So those are sub-brands. Those are individual brands. But here we are talking about the entrepreneurial approach of the whole organization, right? Entrepreneurial innovation of the whole organization. Uh, 
right? So when you look at this uh, particular brand, you can't do it. But let's say as an example, Unilever is having a subsidiary company under different name. Then you can take that company and talk about, but you don't have something like that. So you can talk about the whole Unilever and discuss the case. Balanda Mokadda Alut Gap Pekak Mokadda create Karana Pulan solution Nakad then Napulua Gaps Mono the Eva Balalivella. How about others? How about others? Hmm. Anyone? So now, uh, uh, in the question, they ask the two. Uh, to annotated value proposition canvases that evaluate two innovations for adding value. So yeah, they are looking at two innovations to name. So uh, for those two different innovations, we do we have to do two different VPCs or in one VPC we uh, name the innovation? How does it happen? How, how no, two, two, two in two VPCs. That's what I said. VPCs they are unknown. You have to draw two VPCs. Okay, but if you are if you are drawing a VPC for the whole company, as the previous uh, that uh, girl uh, like uh, uh, asked, like it, if it is the VPC for the entire company, so the two the both no 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 oh thank God no VPC is for the product, VPC is not for the company. Okay. Sorry if I uh, incorrectly uh, responded to that question. VPCs we are doing for the com, uh, not for the company. VPC we do for the product. So what Gaira was talking about, whether you can, whether she can select the Unilever. Under Unilever, you have multiple product. So for Unilever, you are creating two new products, right? I mean, uh, as an example, the Purity is one of the pre previous product came up. So you look at the Unilever's behavior and you look at the Unilever's product portfolio and look at new market needs where Unilever has not catered or where Unilever uh, can cater in a different style. Then you bring two new products and explain. You're designing VPC for two products, not for the company. Good that you asked the question. Two VPCs for two new products, not for company. No worries. Any question? Uh, sir, I have a question. So uh, when we uh, introduce the, before we introduce the two VPCs, uh, we are supposed to write a small briefing, right? Yes. Uh, so there we are supposed to uh, talk about the two uh, new product innovations uh, that we introduce, right? Yes. Okay. It's like this. What do you write here now? You just give a, an idea about the product what you are coming up for which market. I mean, it's it's about two to three line explanation. Okay. So what is the product and for which market it caters and what are the whatever the values are they are in the uh, VPC inside the VPC and how that is connected with the theme. That's it. Because the values of VPC catalytia. Apimokad the product, 
මේ ප්‍රොඩක්ට් එක කොයි මාකට් එකට දෙයන්නේ ඒ මාකට් එකත් ඒ ඒ ප්‍රොඩක්ට් එක ඒ මාකට් එකතුල මේ තීම් එකත් එක්ක කොහොමද කනෙක්ට් වෙන්නේ අපි සිලෙක්ට් කරගත්ත තීම් එකත් එක්ක ඔයාලට ඉඩ එකක් වෙන්නේ නැතුව ඇති තාම තීම් එක ගැන right so how it is connected කියන එක you have to show clear ද yes sir clear how about others uh, i don't think um, i mean uh, starting the task 2 is suitable kiyana ekama me hitanne na right so i need continuously about at least one and a half hours to discuss the task 2 uh, anyway we need to talk about a couple of theories also into it so any questions if not we can quit for the day but you all can now start the task 3 also but make sure you complete the task 2 right before you do the task 3 but you can structure the task 3 and think about whatever the products you bring and draft you can do the ppc and keep it but complete the task 2 and come into this then you can have a clear synchronization okay seems no right guys so anyway good luck thank you very much so we'll meet up in uh, with case study tomorrow morning right case study ekka api physical yanne naha heta because of this uh, but next week we are having physical uh, sunday so tomorrow we'll meet up online case study ekke puluwan taran audit ekka iwara karala inna then it is easy for me right for me in the sense for you all it is easy uh, to do it discuss it Okay thank you very much guys good night we'll meet up tomorrow yeah, thank you sir 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 thank